Hello everybody, welcome back to GameSpeak and to Banished. Here we are back in Robstow. Um, if you can remember last time, because I certainly can't, um, <laughs> what on earth were we doing? We, oh, we set up a build down here. Remember I said last episode that the frame rate stutters? Yeah, that's happening right now. Look at this. We've got some terrible frame rate right now. I apologize for that, but uh, there's nothing I can do. It'll get better as we go, I think. Um, Right now we're going to want to bring this up and have a look what we're doing. We have a herbalist with no um, herbalist. <laughs> a herbalist hut with no herbalist worker, so that's fixed now. Um, nothing else is building. Woodcutter's currently empty. We'll put one builder back into woodcutting, I suppose. Um, take one of the builders out into woodcutting. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we need a blacksmith. Blacksmith is our next priority, but, of course, you know, our problem right now is uh, is the kids um, and the lack of new adults. I suppose right now we don't need farmers. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, a good uh, trick of sorts is um, using the farmers in the off-season, because, of course, uh, over sort of from from actually the end of summer, I think late summer to early spring, farmers don't farm anything. Um, they just won't do their job. So it's very good to take the farmers off during the winter and put them into, you know, anything else you need. In this case, building. Um, also, we don't particularly need the 500 potatoes that take a year to grow. So uh, we could really do with um, shutting down the farm uh, or at least just putting one farm on it if it means we can have a permanent blacksmith. Um, or of course, you know, we can swap out the woodcutter and make him a blacksmith if we need to. Don't see why we particularly would though at this point. Got three herbs already, that's good, that's good. Down here we're planting, right? Yeah. This is going to become one heck of a forest uh, eventually. Unlike our area up here where these foresters have just blasted through and uh, have left no adult trees. Well, maybe, you know, there's about ten adult trees in the area. Um, not ideal, but it's mainly because of this guy cutting all the wood down, which means actually with all these baby trees, the gatherer is not going to be working at full potential maybe from next season. Or I'm talking out of my arse and he'll still do fantastic. I just don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Houses we could also do with, of course. We can always do with more houses. Maybe uh, once the blacksmith is built, we could... Uh, yeah, let's do that right now, actually. Let's plonk down a house. Is that behind it? Or is this behind it? Oh, we can see. Here we go. Here. Why is there such a big gap here? Mm, don't like that gap. Let's close the gap here. Here. And here. Three more houses for now. Um, yeah, because I don't really want to keep chipping away at this forest. Although, nothing really intersects with this area of the forest. I guess this one does a little bit. Um, but, you know, the town has to expand. Uh, that's, so that can be avoided. And eventually we'll build a bridge over to here. Uh, and, you know, start using this area. Uh, once we expand big enough, you know, because this game is is built for, it was built to head towards having hundreds of residents. Like a lot of a lot of the uh, achievements are for having like 600, 600 people in the town and things like this. Um, I have no idea how. <laughs> I have no idea how that works, how you get to that point, but uh, apparently it happens. So we're going to speed this up to 10 times since we're just waiting. We are quite low on stone. Um, is there any stone? Well, there's a lot of stone down here by the older uh, herbalist. So let's set that to be gathered. All of the stone down here. That should bump us up quite nicely. 
Oh, sorry, hit the mic. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, auto save. The reserve of tools is low. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why we're literally building the blacksmith as you give me this warning. It's being built. Give me a second. There's one tool left, but there's 200 iron, so we are all ready soon enough <laughs> to start getting our tools back. Tools also sell very nicely when we get to trading. Uh, oh god, I forgot it uses logs as well to make an iron tool. Oh well. Uh, let's take the builder off, put him into the blacksmith, and get our tools back up. Tools, of course, help anybody anybody really who has uh, a job. Uh, I think all of the jobs, really. It helps all of the jobs, as far as I'm aware, to um, work more efficiently. Or rather, just to not work slower. I think uh, working with stone uh, so is it stone tools or iron tools? Working with iron tools is the, the base rate, uh, as far as I'm aware. And then steel tools improve, and no tools reduce efficiency. Yeah. So if you combine that with the uh, the schoolhouse, if you have people working with steel tools and they're educated, um, it's quite a nice situation to be in. Uh, not one we're going to be in for a little while because uh, steel tools need coal. And uh, coal is a pain in the ass. Although, we have very good location for a mine right here because mines, I'm not going to place it down, but uh, mines have to be built into a mountainside. So... We can put it right here. It's a good placement. See, we can't just put it on flat ground because this needs to be rocky. So uh, that's going to be a really good place for a mine, eventually. Um, not too well. Yeah, actually, quite far off into the into the <laughs> future. We're not going to need that for uh, quite a while. Um, I think it's something that kind of messed up my uh, my personal town. Was. Uh, putting in a mine and a quarry way too early. Way too early. Um, at this stage of the game you should definitely be looking to just pick up the natural resources you find around. Uh, there are a lot more than you realise and you know it's not too bad if you just build a bridge here and gather all of these. They don't... they're, they're faster than you realise especially on 10 times speed. It's not that much of an inconvenience to start picking up rocks from miles up here because uh, they will do it at an efficient enough rate. So our houses are going up, the blacksmith's doing well, we're already back at five tools. The next thing we're going to want after this is going to be a tailor to make clothes. Um, clothes are one of the steps towards reducing the reliance on uh, firewood, which of course helps. Uh, it's going to reduce this to 600 because our wood situation is not great right now. Um, yeah, reducing the reliance on firewood certainly helps money-wise, so it gives us more things to trade. Uh, it also reduces the just burning through logs like we have been recently, because obviously we need logs for things like tools and especially for building. Um, other ways to do that are, of course, upgrading wooden houses to stone houses, which use extra 24 wood, 40 stone, and 10 iron. It's quite expensive. Um, Stone-wise, it's quite expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth it because they use much less uh, firewood over the winter, um, and so will they if they have uh, hide coats or, of course, wool coats. But uh, for wool coats, you need sheep. For sheep, you need a pasture. For a pasture, you need cattle, and cattle you can only get from a trader. Speaking of which, mm, we in a, we're not really not quite in a situation where we can have a trader, I don't think. Um, the trader is very expensive, for one thing. Um, 82, 80, and 40. It's a pretty expensive building. Um, yeah, we're going to do without it for now. For now, I mean, for a while, I think. Uh, certainly until we can increase our population, at least. Once our population increases, we can start doing things like putting down mines and quarries without too much worry uh, about lack of employees, as there is on my personal safe. Uh, already, this forest uh, is growing very nicely. Um, this stockpile is full. That's interesting. It's full of iron. 
full of iron and firewood. Um, well, there's nothing I can do about that. They're just going to have to keep walking down there. does certainly reduce efficiency, but... Um, bleh, is all I can say to that. This is <laughs> I'm not really going to do anything about that at this stage. Um, yeah, the gatherer's hot. I'm a bit worried about uh, whether this is going to be doing well, really, in this quite sparse forest. It's, I mean, it's dense, but the trees are very new, uh, which is a bit of a worry. Well, I think once this area is looking lush enough, we'll put down another gatherer, um, or certainly at least once these four students become uh, rather graduate, we will get around to doing that. Herbalist is doing exceptionally well. Look at that, we've got 53 stored herbs, and uh, the health is going up half a heart, I believe, from uh, from the four hearts that it was recently, which is always good to see. Um, I think I missed some rocks over here, very close by, we should be gathering. Not that one up there, though. Also some iron around here that we can gather. Again, not that lot up there. Yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of these as well, so uh, we can have some better tree placement and up there. Looking good, I think. I think, yeah. Really, right at this stage, we're sort of waiting for more kids, more students, and more adults. Really, just we need a bigger population. Um, everything else seems to be working more or less well. Great, actually. You know, for this stage of the game, we're doing pretty good. Except, um. Yeah, let's forget the farm. Let's switch off the farm. Let's turn off the farm, and let's have this single builder make us a tailor. And let's get to work uh, tailing, because we need some clothes, I think. I'd love to build it right the fuck here, uh, but the trader should go there, though, so let's, in fact, build it here. Our one builder right now is going to get to work on that and then the builder will become our resident tailor and the tailor will use at this stage he'll make hide coats and hide coats are made from leather and leather of which we have 58 comes from the hunting cabin so last season he gathered uh, they rather gathered 28 leather this season they've already got 10 so uh, it's not a tailor will make clothes faster than one hunting cabin will gather leather so, um, a tailor is not too permanent a position. It's not something that you really just keep him doing all the time. It's sort of, you know, get up, get up to the limit, and then pull him out and have him work on something else. And then once it starts going down again, put him back in because uh, you got to give the hunters time to uh, to gather some leather. And as I say that, we have six new uh, six new deer and a baby deer uh, walking into the range of the hunting cabin, which should help our numbers delightfully. So let's have a go at speeding up the simulation again. Blaster in some ten times, because we're just doing pretty alright right now. Um, builder's not doing his job, so let's increase the priority over here. Let's get everyone to clear this area. Uh, pretty much all the townsfolk will help um, removing and bringing the log stone and iron and then it's up to the builder to do the building part um, so obviously when you increase priority it increases it for everyone to say sort out this area instead of gathering you know gathering resources or whatever else um, which isn't ideal I'd quite like uh, to be able to just raise the priority for the individuals involved, so if it's a building case then just raise the priority for the builders to build but um, you know, it, it still it works pretty well actually, if you need a building built really quickly it helps to have the whole town bring the resources together yeah, it does, it does, we've still got a number of people in the boarding house Stone is low. We had a few new kids. Our population is doing quite relatively well, I think. Oh, God. Storage for produced goods is near capacity. This is one of the most annoying 
notices in the whole game is for the goddamn storage barn. I think we're doing so well with food with this current population, I think I'm actually going to switch this forester's lodge to cut as well. Um, we're going to set it to cut already, and we're going to place down a little uh, stockpile. Where can we put the stockpile? Not there. Let's put it right out front here. Make it... I don't know, 5x5? Five five? Yeah, I guess. Mm, yeah, for now, let's make a 5x5 five five stockpile. And uh, get down to cutting these trees, because... Uh, clearly we don't need the food, because our storage barn's getting full up with this stuff. Goddamn mushrooms and venison. Still the potatoes from two years ago are serving us well. Are we really going to have to build another barn? I don't really want to be wasting space on something like a storage barn, but... Uh, one thing we could do is build a market, but they're expensive and huge. Um, shit. What's this building? That's the house, schoolhouse. Uh, blacksmith's maxed out on tools. That's good. Um, let's pull him off that then. Well, let's leave him for a second. What shall we do about the storage barn? Well, we have this stockpile. It's actually quite uselessly big. I think. We don't need this one here. Or at least we don't need it to be that large. Let's check out the trader... The trader will fit here, right? Oh god, the trader already doesn't fit here anyway. In that case, we can just we can use this area then. Yeah, the trader doesn't fit. Does it fit here? No, the trader does not fit there either. Jesus, where can we put our trader? Over here? Okay, we can put the trading post there when we build it. Okay, so let's... Oh, that's annoying. Let's put down, oops, a storage barn. Uh, let's put it lengthways. Oops, it's easy. Not the trading post. Storage barn. Uh, lengthways down. Yeah, right next to the blacksmith. Let's put it there. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. Fair enough, though. Okay, uh, let's speed this up so that we can get through the tailor. Um... Oh, let's pull the blacksmith out, then, and put him to work as a builder. Let's get this going a bit faster. We want to get the tailor done. And then we'll have both the builders build our storage barn. The, the food, it is going back down again right now. Mm, I suppose it's better to have it than not, though. Oh, we've got another student. Brilliant. Five students and nine kids and uh, <laughs> no new adults. Come on, we're still working with 18 adults, and I think... Are we at the point where people are going to start dying soon? Oh, we don't have dying of old age switched on. Um, no, actually, everyone's still exceptionally young. We don't have to worry about deaths yet, which is good. Uh, the builders are not working on the storage barn. I would very much like them to. I'd like everyone, really, to come together and uh, get this storage barn up so that I don't keep getting this warning. Other than that, how are the other numbers? The herbs doing exceptionally well, which is great. Firewood's okay, yep. Oh, fantastic. We have an educated laborer. That is great. Why don't you become our tailor? Educated laborer is actually a bit wasted on being a tailor. Oh, shit, here they come. Okay, let's slow this down now. I don't know if this is a thing, what I'm about to do. Um, am I about to do it? I don't really know how. I'd rather the educated workers became things like foresters and gatherers than became <laughs> tailors. But I, I'm not sure that it actually works on a personal level like that, because watching other Let's Plays... Um, uh, the, you know, I watched the Let's Play where it was Sips from the August cast, right? He did a very long Let's Play on this game. And he would often uh, pay attention to the names. He'd get attached to the names of the citizens. And he'd try and find one of his citizens who he knows as a builder. And suddenly they'd be working as a forester. 
So in that sense, I don't know how the education works if it if it's not attached to the job. I'm not entirely sure what it is attached to. Maybe it automatically finds its way to the places it's needed most. See, that gatherer is educated. That one isn't. That one is. That one isn't. Our builders... We have two educated builders already. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess let's just put them in wherever they're needed. So right now we need a tailor, uh, a blacksmith. Uh, we're down a herbalist, so let's put one in there. And let's have an extra builder. Does it take four people to build a storage barn? Wow. Jeez. Okay, let's blast through the storage barn and think about what our next building is going to be. We have three spare workers. Um, it is good sometimes to just keep a stock of laborers, but really we're at the point where we want to be expanding more than anything else. Uh, certainly more than just having spare laborers. You really want spare laborers when um, the population grows old and starts dying, because and then you can just have, once a gap opens up and someone dies of old age, or dies of anything really, a laborer will automatically fill the spot if there are people open. But if you have something like this where three builders are uh, assigned to the job with no work, they won't fill the gap. Um, of course, we can always do it manually here, but uh, you know, if there's a rush up in the event log, sometimes you might not spot it and uh, might go a couple of seasons with an empty slot in. I mean, anywhere, you know, if the blacksmith goes empty and you don't notice and suddenly you've got no tools, then that can be a terrible situation. But right now, that's not something we have to worry about. I shouldn't have taken them out of builders because the next thing I think we want is more houses. Um, not particularly exciting building, but uh, it's a really necessary one. And we've just got to do it, really. We've got to get as many people coming into this town. Coming into this world, I suppose. We're not recruiting. <laughs> They're popping out of our existing citizens. Um, yeah. It's necessary. I don't know why we're still getting this storage warning. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess this one has to fill up before they'll even recognize this one. I don't know. I don't know. It's retarded. Oh well, who cares. Here we go then. Our numbers are... You know what? The firewood is actually going down surprisingly fast. Um, the old limit was 700 and we were at it before. And now we're well below the new limit. Hmm. See, this is why it's good to increase, to have a huge stockpile. Because if our limit had always been 200 and people were using it at the same rate that they are now, we would likely be at zero. And once you're at zero, people start dying. It is, of course, winter, though, so we'll see after winter. If we can get back up to our limit of 600 uh, and meet it comfortably, then we'll know there's actually no problem. Which is the fantastic thing about the limits. Um, the blacksmith once again has hit the 51 limit. That's good. That's good. Uh, we're a little low on stone, especially if we want to think about uh, building more and more houses. Because each house uses how much? Eight stone. Mm, have they? They've taken all the stone. Are oh, there still a lot left over there? That's good. Uh, how are the two herbalists doing now? Wow, two herbalists are doing very well. Very well, indeed. That's good. Keep the town health going up. We are... No, we don't really have to worry about the happiness, actually. Happiness, the best way to fight happiness, uh, or fight decreasing happiness, rather, is uh, with the brewer. Getting uh, getting everyone blazing drunk, but for the brewer you need uh, either wheat or an orchard. Wheat grown in the crop field or anything grown in the orchard, pretty much. Um, yeah, we won't know what orchard seeds we have, uh, rather fruit tree seeds we have, until we build an orchard, which I don't really want to do, because orchards are a massive waste of time and money, and uh, if you don't have a brewery there, it's not a good idea to build them. It definitely is not. So, we're okay for that. Hunting cabin is doing very well. Lots of leather, which is good. How much leather do we have? 34 plus 17 hide coats already, and the tailor has 10 in stock. Uh, 8 in stock. <laughs> uh, blasting through making these hide coats, that's fantastic. 
That's fantastic. New storage barn's been used, which is handy. <laughs> That's good. We're doing well. We're doing well. The population's looking alright. This Forester's Lodge has started uh, cutting. We've got 60 this season, 63. That's going okay. Um, there's only two people working here. Maybe we could um, boost that a little bit with some of our builders once they've done making these houses. We could put maybe one more uh, into this Forester's Lodge. They're not using this stockpile though, that's a little annoying. Uh, where are they taking the wood? Are they just taking it up? They can't be taking it up there. Surely not. Mm, let's see. Uh, it's already, we're still in winter and the firewood has gone up by about 70 since we last saw anyway. So apparently we don't have to worry about that. Which is fantastic. Blacksmith stopped again, which is fine. We don't have to worry about him. We don't have to worry about a whole hell of a lot, actually. Rob Stowe is uh, doing pretty well. So I think we can leave this here for episode 3. Um, quick summary of our situation. So we have built uh, the tailor and the blacksmith, a second storage barn. We've got the forester's lodge set to cutting as well. Uh, we've had a bunch of extra houses and we have another herbalist working down here. We've also switched off the farm, reassigned a lot of our professions. Now we have a constant blacksmith, tailor and woodcutter. Um, plus we have three spare builders, one of whom will become a uh, forester. The other two, I don't know, I guess they'll set about building wherever their next workplace will be. Um, and as well we have nine children, two students right now. That should increase with these new houses and we are just generally in a very good position here in Robstow. So, please like the video, give me any feedback you can, positive or negative, anything you want to see, anything you don't want to see from this series, because I really enjoy going through these, but I realize it can be quite a slow game at times, um, that's why I try to make use of the simulation speed options as much as I can to blast through it. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, and I will see you again for episode 4. Thanks for watching, bye! Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Loudly Speak with me, oh for fuck's sake, and again.